Look at the artwork. Does anybody know F. Fletcher, a plasterer? There we go. Let's see if we can get a bit more light on. So, definitely not a friendly place for people that have got uh, wheelchairs. Would we have another cinema down here? Westover Road's Odeon Cinema began life as the Regent in 1929 and retains many of the Art Deco features of the era. It was known as the Gaumont from 1949 to 1986 and was used to host live performances as well as films. Stars who appeared there include Ella Fitzgerald, Dusty Springfield, Victor Borgia and in 1963 The Beatles. The cinema now has six screens. The cinema finally closed its doors in 2017 and stands abandoned to this day. So we're back and we're going to take a little walk up now and see if we can get behind the Odeon. As I know a way in, I can see it. Uh, I may not show you how to do it because I don't want people getting the same idea that I've got, which is let's go in there and then do something naughty. So we're not going to show you how to get in because it's, it's not, not the simplest in the world. So I'll give my business card, which actually happens to be one of my stickers, to this lady down here. Oh, here we go. That's the channel. Yeah. Oh. There's a secret I will vault. I'll you on there when I get the chance. Yeah. And I'll tell you what's going on. Okay. Phoenix, by the way. Nice Phoenix, nice to meet you, yeah. Well, anyway, we're going to go in there now, so hopefully I come out alive. Good luck, you'll be fine. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. I'll see you in a bit. Cheers, bye. So, yeah, there's more, more of these like walkways that go straight through. Again, padlock chained up. I don't want anyone going through there, so pretty crap really, but uh, yeah. So for some reason they've got a wheelie, a wheel out cow here, which is showing you all the best bits to eat if you're into that sort of thing. And he's actually, he's actually got his uh, bits. It's a, it's a real. It's a real sort of uh, statue, this. It's made out of fiberglass, though. Yeah. So, going around the back of the ABC and the Odeon Cinemas in Bournemouth. What do you want me to discover? Oh, church. Discover church. Wow. Children and young people discover church. Really? That's a bit crazy. What the hell? So, what the hell is that up there? It's a fake stalk. I was going to say, because uh, it's not moving. <laughs> well. Okay, so we've got some uh, escape routes. More escape routes, probably from the hotel. This may be something to do with the back of the hotel car park. So, and here's those little climb overs that I was uh, interested in. Well, this this one's this one's actually uh, quite easy to do because it's quite small. 
And here's the back of the cinema, so you can see the exit sign there. Classic old stuff. And uh, you've got these tiled walls here. And it looks like they would have had adverts up here on the side of the building at one point, so used for advertising. But um, yeah, doors quite well sealed. Another exit down this side. Another exit here. And I know it seems to be like some sort of alarms up there, and there's two little white boxes. I've got a We've got the other end of this side now, and uh, yeah, it looks like we can go in, so let's do it. So here we go folks, fire exit is open. It really is open, and it really wasn't me. So fingers crossed, this leads in properly. But before we do that, I need to get my head torch on. Well, sort of, because I can use my light. Eh, let there be light. Get the iris open. There you go. And this is the Odeon. They've shed loads of light things in the toilets for some reason. Vents and light stuff. So this is the toilets. Ah, so we've got outside lights, light switches. That's really ropey. Oh, fire alarm. Oh, look. <laughs> Half a Judge Dread poster. Yeah, so this is a gas meter room. This is. Let's go and have a look down here. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. So we've got some sort of drawings. Somebody's put some drawings up in the past. Ah. Meter text, SIP data logger. What's that about then? Data logger for what? Southern gas networks. Hmm, and there's, there's the gas. Sounds like somebody might be in here. Oh, my stomach is going. So that's uh, downstairs to nowhere. That's strange, isn't it? So, here's a door. Look, locks open. Wow! Straight onto, straight onto the stage area. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, the floor is making some creaking, creaking wooden sounds. But there we go. Let's see if we can get a bit more light on. There you go. So a lot of the seats have been uh, taken out and f folded flat, which is weird. But there you go. Right, I need to change some stuff out of my camera, so I'll be back in a second. The old speaker horns there. I've probably got no speakers in them now. They would have produced quite a lot of nice bass. It's a shame they knackered the screen. It was a curved screen as well. So, yeah. Okay, we'll be back in a minute. Oh look, no smoking. No smoking. Original, that's very old. And bars going up to the ceiling. Wow. And it actually goes out, I think there's lights. No, nope, maybe not. So yeah, let's, uh, just need to sort some stuff out with the camera. We'll be back. So right, yeah, got myself sorted out now. Oops, we do need some light. So yeah, this is an old wooden door. And it says, please shut off lights after use. But that's an old door, look at that. So this is an old building really. It's been made to look modern, but it's, it's quite old round the back. So here's the curtains, which are looking a bit uh, dusty now. The classic blue Odeon, Odeon decor and colour. Let's uh, let's get a bit more light. Let's get the beast. 
There we go. So there's a ladder going to upstairs there. But let's have a look at the old uh, setup here. So they've got a curved screen on this uh, trestle system. So I'm going to check out the speakers. Big old, big old base cabinets there. Some really big base cabinets. Wow. So, center speaker. And then you've actually got the winding equipment for taking the screen up and down. Now, notice something with this screen. Um, it's actually silver. It's actually silvered screen. I think that's, that's the front and that's the back. And the reason some of them are like that is because of 3D films. Some of them need to have that. So there's no screen here at all now. It's all gone. But those, uh, those power winders would be to take the screen probably up and down on the back if they needed to change it out. So it could be as well. Uh, there's some power winders for the curtains, which they may not have closed because cinemas often didn't do that in later years. They just kept kept the, the screen fully visible most of the time, but there probably is a mechanism somewhere for that. But yeah, look at the height. It's a good old height, but it's uh, not really, uh, not high enough to be usable as a theatre per se. But what's this at the back? What's that? The big old doors? Those big old doors there? What the hell would they be for? That is strange. Why would they have doors back there? Up high. Up extremely high like that. I've got no idea. I've no idea why they would have that. And I can hear people outside. So, street street level at the back must be higher. I can't understand why they would need that. So let's see if we can find a way down without having to jump. Some of the uh, blacking off the edge of the screen probably. Drapes for the edges of the screen. Yep. It's been, it's been dripping and damp on this part of the stage. So... Now it looks like mould on the carpet there, so there's been a bit of mould damage. Okay, well I can't see any easy way that way, so let's go all the way round. Okay, and see what's over here. So there's nothing on this side. Now, so this is a. Uh, working area around the back, so they've got toilets, which probably weren't for the public. This is a, an old setup they probably had. We've got bits of plastic and show times and signs for the show times there. Look at the old lights, you know. It's like, it's really old back here. We've got downstairs. Now we have got a downstairs here. I think there was a stairs on the other side, but it didn't go anywhere. So this one, and wow, it does go, to, it goes underground, oh my God. It goes underground. And here, we've got uh, stuff to do with the seats. This is a repair section with different coverings for the seats and repair bits arms for the seats. It's wet actually. I just touched it. Gods of Egypt. June 17. God. Well, literally God, yeah. So, what else have they got down here? A room for some chemicals. And a fan over there behind that. Uh, so goes down even deeper. There's a couple more steps. Whoa, fans here, look. Fans for giving air into the cinema. That's a big old uh, 
big old drum there, look at that. That's a big boy. But the, the secret here might be that they, and you can see the, um, the bearing, that is, that's just a bearing. The secret might be here that they want to run, and oh, there's the air filters. A lot of these have been knocked out the pipes here, so this could have been heating or cooling. They could have had um, water coming through to, to come through. So yeah, that would have probably gone to outside. I can see some filters behind that. Somebody playing music in a car outside. But yeah, they might wa have wanted to have this, uh, this fan uh, so large so that it could run uh, more silently. So the belts here, so this is the motor connecting to a belt. And there's a spare motor back there. So this motor could be kept in a separate room, close the door so the noise of the motor and run it through here, spin the fan, but then keep it quieter. I'd imagine that's why they wanted it quite so big. So you can step into the, uh, the filter chamber here. Um, but as I say, they've knocked out a lot of the copper. That's probably what they went for. They've stripped out the copper bars that went across that were probably the heating or cooling bars. So, and here's the filters. I said I could see the filters somewhere. So now we're in the back filter room. And yeah, that's out to the street. This is big metal work here. Look at this. What the hell would these be for? Anybody got any idea what these are for? There's four of them. What the hell would they be for? And this is a filter airway. I'm probably going out to the street. Yeah, probably goes out to the street somehow. Huh, pigeons. It's the pigeons way in and out. So, hmm, interesting. We've got the boiler room here. Now these look fairly modern. It's a modern boiler room, this. So we've got uh, control systems. Uh, we've got pipe vents. Um, sort of, we've got the boilers themselves. Uh, when was this? Last signed off, 12, 14, so 2014, oh, 2015, oh, 2016, 2016. So this place has been out of action for four years. So another good quality boiler there. I would have thought these probably could be reused or recycled in some way. So we've got a motor, winder, belt, or belt, three-phase motor. We've got the, sorry, <coughs> bloody hell. We've got the, <coughs> we've got the fuel tank, fuel tank in this room, and telling you how much fuel's in it. This is interesting. It says draft stabilizer. Draft stabilizer. What does that do? Oh, I see. Wow. What the hell's this? I can hear pigeons up there. So it must go out to the outer thing, but draft stabilizer, does it sort of open and close to kind of let, uh, you know, let the draft work or not? This is interesting. Very interesting. So they've got, uh, oh, an emergency exit up there that you can climb up and open the door. So that's, that's kind of funky. Yeah. So, we're below the street level here, possibly with a stairs, stairs coming down here. Whoops, a daisy. Stood on a spider, that was. Mm. So, funky building so far, very funky, and we haven't even got to the 
the really cool bits like the projection room, which I'm expecting to be really good. Nice cold breeze down here. There's a lot of air coming through the building, so. What's this room then? Full of more chairs, older chairs, look. Very old chairs in this bit. Do you remember coming here when those chairs looked uh, that colour? Hard to clean, I expect. <laughs> Not good for the cleaners. So, let's go up. Oops, a daisy. <laughs> I missed the step then. Missed the step so we can go back up and up again. Or we can come through here. So, I think I want to go up. I want to see what's up here because we're still at the backstage area. So, where does it go if we go up? So, oh, we've got a little room here with uh, could be spools off um, off film, possibly a light box to put a message, a sign, another another box possibly for equipment or signage, old grips and things for the stage, probably. For some reason, they look like a slanty box here, hiding something underneath, probably, but I don't understand why that kind of box is there. Windows have been blacked up. And, uh, hmm. Oh, look. 3D glasses storeroom, 60. 3D glasses storeroom. So where, where's, there's not one pair of 3D glasses in here. You see what I mean about the, the screen being silver? So this goes out onto oh, the street. This is an old refrigerator for ice creams. And there's their water, water mains coming into the building. And along here we have the street again all the way down there and a little room back here for don't know what yeah little little bits there didn't remember seeing an open window earlier so uh, there must be another room that we haven't gone in so we'll just check that out now try not to miss anything if I can help it I see the back of the building here and it goes up quite a way oh, there's a security camera up there hi Okay, so uh, we must have missed these rooms then. What did I? Yeah, not much in there. And oh no, I did see this room. It was the one that had the uh, display boards. Yeah. So so we're going up the stairs now. Find out where this goes. Locked door, perhaps? Yes, a locked door. Might be locked because it goes straight down and drops, <laughs> which may be why it's locked, because I've did that once in a cinema. But it was a theater once. I went through an open door and stepped through, nearly put my foot down and let go. If I had, I'd be dead, because it was just a big old drop on the other side, which is why you gotta be careful sometimes. Oh no, it's just a room, look. Stock room. <laughs> things for drinks, putting on top of your drinks, yeah, and Ben and Jerry's ice cream, butter kissed, butter kissed, wow, yeah, wow, wow, wow. So, uh, there's a freezer at the end of the room, but there ain't gonna be anything in there, is there? Lots of Ben and, ben and Jerry containers. Hang on, I've got to speak to somebody on my phone. It was just Sam asking how am I getting on? Because oh, I told him, I was told him I was here because ah, you shouldn't really. No, nope, there's nothing in there. Oh look, there's special Star Wars cups. 
Star Wars cups. Uh, Star Wars Rogue One cups. Only in cinemas, it says. How crap is that? Huh? Oh, look, it's the straws. From when straws were allowed to be plastic. Instead of shit. Oh, look, film food. Film food, right? So, this is, this is just to show you how much of a bloody rip-off these places are. Small popcorn, £3.75. Regular, four twenty five. pounds Large, four fifty. Um, two ninety five for a drink. And popcorn combo, £7.95. I mean, you know, they, you wonder why cinemas are dying. Because uh, they try to rip you off. Right, I see. This goes up. This goes up to the uh, emergency exits. That's no doubt got uh, wood across it now, so it's not going not gonna to let us in or out. Oh, I see. So we've got some nice steps here. So that's the way we just came in. And what's in this little room? Uh, nothing. Really, just lockers for people's clothing and whatnot. So I'm now walking on top of uh, seating. So that's pretty funny. I'm actually walking on top of the seats. And what's in this room? This looks like it could be a toilet. Might have been a toilet at some point. Um, yeah, toilets. A little bit, little bit of toilet stuff going on. Quite old though, you know, for a, for a sort of upmarket cinema, you'd expect it to be a little bit more uh, nice looking. Oh, the premiere seats look premiere. I've never paid to sit in one of these. They just feel rubbery. Rubbery, actually. I've probably got memory foam or thick sponge. So, here we go, here we go, so there's the steps, come down, there's a security camera, it's actually got the, the camera still in it, I think there's something in there, it's actually got a security camera in it, yeah, there's something in there. Oh, we got a bit of film. Dan, remember you said you'd come here if there was film? <laughs> There's bits of film, look. I wonder what movie it is. Or what it is. I wonder if I can tell. Hang on. Need to put it against the wall. Get some light behind it. Oh, it's a bus. There's a bus driving towards something. So, as you can see, you've got two, you've got two tracks on the right-hand side, which are the, the sound tracks. Sound tracks on the right-hand side. Uh, but there's no digital sound track on this, uh, because the digital sound track would go uh, where the perfs are, where the perforations are. So, mm. yeah. So, whoa. There's a film reel. Does it have anything in it? It's a film reel, a box for it, but does it actually have anything inside? I don't think so. Uh, it says spacing, etc. Spacing. So this film goes all the way down there. It's going off around the corner. Now in here, we have equipment such as uh, lights, light stuff, gobo lights, uh, lots of bulbs, bulbs, bulbs and bulbs, strip light bulbs, loads of strip light bulbs actually, tons of them, and what are these things over here, just more strip lights, oh, we've, got, we've got some old, an old till, We've got an old till, and the till, the till has, um, you know, oh, they served alcohol in here, Stella, VK, Budweiser, ice creams. So yeah, these are all the old uh, till systems they used to use. 
Yep. So, that looks like it might be a film winding desk, but there's no film on there. This goes out onto the, oh, the ceiling. So, there's a catwalk. There's a catwalk up there to the top. It um, looks okay. Let's give it a go. Looks good quality, actually. Oh my god, so the Dolby equipment is out here. Somebody's thrown the Dolby, um, the Dolby, uh, the Dolby equipment. What the hell are they throwing it down here for? AVX induction loop driver. So this induction loop thing is for people with hearing aids. So you put the sound through here and it sends it out through wires that go above the, um, above the auditorium and people turn their hearing aids to the special loop position. Oh look, look, Dolby Stereo power supply. 15 volts minus, 15 volts plus, 24 volts. Dolby Stereo power supply. Dolby Laboratories of San Francisco. It doesn't say that on there, but I know that that's where they come from. So what's this, Do Re Mi? Oh my God, Do Re Mi Cinemas. Digital to analog audio converter. Oh my god, it's a Dory Me thing. So you put your um, you put your sound in and it converts it to analog. Interesting. So why would they throw all this stuff out here? Now over there, where you wouldn't want to really go because look at this. Yeah. Is the is the Dolby uh, is the Dolby amp system. Well, it, it's it's what you select the sound. You you you, ha you decide if you're using uh, certain types of sound, and uh, you know you had it old Spectral S and Dolby ABCs and whatnot, and uh, that would be the box where you turn the volume up and down and select which type of sound you were using. Why the hell did they put that out there? That's crazy. That's uh, not very good because I think. If you if you put your foot down here, you go through the ceiling. So I wouldn't be very clever. But uh, yeah. Oh, there's another box here. Another. Oh, it's another Dolby Dolby power unit. So where is this voyage of mystery taking us then? Going along across the ceiling, and you can see, you can see the um, back of the Dolby unit there. Right, so good old catwalks. Got to love them. Right, we go into another room, which is more catwalk. Shall we do it? Shall we? Shall we? I'm getting hot in here. It's way too hot with this coat on. Um, let's get in there then. There's parts of the cinema you would have never have seen. Never see these bits. Whoa, come on, come on, come on. Ah, stop bloody. Ah, you bastard. Coat, got caught in something. Ah. Don't like the low ceiling height here, but hey. We're getting to see something that most people wouldn't see. Oh, it opens up nicely. Good. Good, 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 good. So, catwalk up over the top. Wow. Look at that. Hey, there's some really old, weird looking archways over there. What's down here? Oh look, there's one there. Look, it's got artwork on it. Oh my god. Look at the artwork on that. I bet that hasn't been seen for about a hundred years. So this is the old look. You've got uh, pillars. Pillars and the old artwork. Which is kind of some sort of like mountainous mountainous region 
Wow. Who would have thought that, eh? So, well, we're probably going to have pretty much the same thing on the other side then. It's going to be something similar. Oh, for God's sake. Stuff falling out of my pockets now. Sorry, I don't think you can get over there. Um, but, yeah. Nice catwalk though. I like the catwalk. I do, do dig the catwalk. So, let's just keep going on the catwalk. Oh, catwalk stops. Ooh. And you can't, you can't get over there. So, in order to see that, we'd have to get my big torch, which it looks like it was just about to fall out of it, my pocket. So, hey, there we go. So that's mountainous scenes again. So I think the, the theater, it might've been a theater. It went up a lot higher. Let's have a look. Whoa, look how high that goes. It probably was a theater because that goes right up. So this is a false, uh, false kind of um, setback. So you can see, but I mean, I've got no idea how high that goes, but it goes pretty high. I can't walk out there because you will go through this and you will come to a sticky end very quickly. Not good. So I can't get over the other side because the catwalk stops. But yeah, very interesting, very interesting. Oh look, there's, um, there's the signatures of the plasterers. See, F. Fletcher, plasterer, 103 Horsham Avenue, Kinson, 1968, it says. Does anybody know F. Fletcher, a plasterer, 103 Horsham uh, Lane, Kingston, 1969. He actually did huh, this, this work on the cinema in 1969. That's pretty amazing. So, wow, let's, uh, let's keep going and see what we can see. I think I'm going to have to change my battery in a minute on my camera. Please stop. There's, there's bits of wood on the side of these catwalks and they keep catching my clothes and uh, try to like eject my light out of its um, pouch as well so I nearly lost the light that could have fallen on the ground uh, I may not have been able to have found that uh, I'm caught on the catwalks again great so we may be able to find the other catwalk on the other side come and have a look and we can get a good glimpse of the uh, the artwork again and there it is so okay let's duck down to get through here We need to squeeze ourselves through. So, duck down. Oh, come on. Sorry. Stop. This bloody catwalks are too tight and they keep catching my clothing, so not ideal. So there's another way there, but does it have a catwalk? I don't know if it does actually. So that may not be the ideal way to get across. Yeah, right, I've got to change the battery now. 
I'm glad I came behind this cabinet container now. So, no power, sadly. But okay, here we go. Yeah, don't go through my boots now. Ugh. Don't go through my boots, thank you. So I'm going to come down here and have a look, see if there's any evidence of the projection on these booth, projector booths. Oh my god, yes. Look, there's reels of film in here. Reels of film on the floor. Hang on, sorry, you're not pointing down, sir. There's reels of film on the floor. There are... These are the cards from the sound processing user for Dolby, I was going to say. Look, house equaliser, head equaliser. This, this is the... Um, this is the box it came out of, so you can tell I used to be a projectionist, so it'd probably be maybe one of these. These look slide in, and, then, and yeah it does, yeah it goes in, so I had taken all the cards out, look, I had taken all these cards out, so there's loads of old bits of kit and film. Hang on. Get some bit and film and stuff on the floor. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm fully expecting, well hang on, I was going to say I'm fully expecting to see the bloody projectors in here. Which would just be bonkers if they are. So what have we got here? Oh, it's the projection room. Good. Finally. Finally. So, oh. <clears throat> nothing left in the racks, the racks have been emptied and I think these are uh, mountings for the real 3D system so they could slide into place mm, probably mounting for a video projector for doing before the film's graphics and crap here you go boom so, out through here, Just project out through here, onto the screen down there, you can see. So house lights, so turn the house lights up, up, mid, down, server, start or stop. Masking is flat or scope, scope would move the masking wider, that's when you see the projection, you push that button, the, the black moves across to the, and reveal more screen for widescreen films, wider cinemascope. 2.35 to 1 ratio, as opposed to 16.9 for widescreen. An Academy, which is known as 4.3, which is the old television standard, 4.3. So, um, Cinematron controls, so we've got tape, tape deck, alarm, sequence ends, so it's warning you um, that one's going to come to an end. So we've got more masking, masking controls, yep. and tabs, that's the tabs, is the, um, the curtains on the edge. So yeah, so that's where you control all that stuff from. Little monitor speaker there, so you could hear, monitor the audio from the film. So that would have been his monitor speaker. It's quite heavy actually. Quite a heavy little speaker that. I swear I heard people in here then. I sworn I heard people in here then. It's bizarre. So power power room. And this bad boy is the arc arc lamp. 
power. So you turn the arc lamp for the cinema projector on and off. And this is the regulator where you can turn the amps up and down. So you spin that, you get more amps. Spin it that way, you get less amps. So brighter or darker on the screen, basically. Um, not much in here really, apart from lots of wire. They've been nicking the copper in this place. So the extraction fan here, you could wind it up and slow it down. You could turn the speed of the extraction fan up and down. There's a crawl space here, so they don't want people going in. So it just goes, where does it go? Goes right up over the back. It's quite an interesting little place. What's this then? Multi dim. So these would have been uh, what are known as dimmer racks for the uh, for the ceiling um, lights. You know they needed to have the control, so strand lighting. There they are strand. And these would have been plugged into the wall in special special sockets, and then connected to the lighting control desk via that interface there so they would have brought the lights up and down using these dimmers <coughs> dimmer control packs and strand lighting rank strand you don't give them that name much anymore so slider inside mm. small old lights over there uh, well, there's the, the the plastic containers for 3D glasses but there's no 3D glasses so we're getting water now down in this section what's it it's actually sticky sticky under my feet well here we go this would have been the audio for controlling which source you were coming from, which sound head, whether it was a mono stereo head, non-sync head, which would be uh, tape, so you're playing music from CD or tape, OGS SR, spectral, spectral something, magnetic, well you don't get much magnetic on the edge of films, it's always optical, but you know, put it there, mute the sound system and make it active. So you can activate it, turn the volume up for the movie, turn the volume down for the movie. And that's what all that was about. Oh, we've got some 3D glasses. And they're the old red green type. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. These are for the first ever 3D cinema ad. Put them on when you see the countdown for Red Bull Air Race. Why didn't they just show it with a super duper 3D? Yeah, so this is the other side of the catwalk. So we could go through here and we can go and have a look at the uh, the nice uh, paintings on the wall. My God, there's a an old video projector. It's a Christie as well. Oh, this this probably would have cost a lot of money. It hasn't got a lens in it. But there's the um, there's the uh, display. This is an old uh, projector, but I don't know whether they'd use this for the movies because it doesn't look big enough really, but it, it probably would have been used for the adverts and things like that. But yeah, God. <coughs> it's crazy, crazy, crazy. So I just saw that then when I was like shine my uh, light over there. So, oh, I wonder what's under this big container. Big old container, look. It's, uh, oh, it's people's, um, uh, what you might call it? It's, uh, where you keep your clothes. Lockers. <laughs> oh dear. Urban Explore. Always a penis in these places, abandoned seekers. I am Ryan Shin. Uh, right, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, let me just see if I've got my stickers. I'm going to stick one on here because.
It's a bunch of secret vaults. There they are. Oh, so we're going to go through here. Might take off my um, bag this time. It proved to be a real pain in the ass a minute ago. So let's take off the bag, take off the coat. Make my life a lot easier. us out it says up there help us out will will you so this catwalk is a bit slanted so not not very nice because it's slanted to the side it's like that so, uh, so again we're walking over the ceiling here help us out will you gaz 2020 von Det Ping 2020. Okay, my uh, my um, light has died. My normal light has died, so I'm on headlight only now. Better be careful. I've got a spare in my pocket, but uh, here we go. This is the old artwork that used to be in here, possibly when it was a theatre. So, here we go. So there we go folks, that's the artwork which probably hasn't seen the light of day maybe in 50, 70 or 100 years, who knows. Oh, let's go back, get another, get another light. <laughs> Gary, somebody's having a joke at Gary's expense. very dry in here. So it's a very well built building. Time for a battery change. See if we'll play. Okay, so pop that battery off. Interesting what sort of connections this would have had on the back. It's fairly modern, digital, analog. This video. Mm. Oh well.
not these before. No climb. Dunno. Strange where we've been in there. We've been in there. We've got a little toilet for the projectionist. His own little loo. It's quite nice. Quite nice of them. So I can hear the car sounds where the door is open down that way. So let's back to the back to the theatre from around the side. Top or in. Now, is this the place that they said was flooded at one time? I can't remember. One of these is flooded. But it doesn't appear to be flooded here. So, what's this? Gaumont. Ah, that's the Gaumont. Just a toilet in here. It's an old, old disused toilet and this thing for the Galmont, Galmont Cinema. So it wasn't always a, wasn't always an Odeon. It was a Galmont years ago. So we've got, um, Purely Belter. Purely Belter, never heard of it. Odeon Customer Service. And this is the way we came in. But uh, we, we came in that side downstairs. So we've got movie posters here. And that looks like the old amps. That's the amps for the sound system, but old, probably, very old. So that's the old, maybe even valve, I don't know. So that's the amps. And I don't know what we got else in here. This is just old kit. old building. That's why I think it might have been a theatre because these, um, this amount of rooms is uh, where they would have had the uh, people dressing, the dressing rooms. And you don't really need this in a cinema so I think this might have been a theatre as well. So just a guess. One sec. So this Room contains asbestos. Really? Oh well, we ain't going in there then. And I wonder what these rooms were locked. Somebody's knocked them through, look. So what's in them? Nothing. They're just literally dressing rooms. So this is uh this is some sort of alarm system. It says this needs respirator, coveralls, overshoes, one of those, and they don't want you going in there. So, wonder what, wonder what it was in there. Wonder what it is. It's probably just an old part of the cinema. Um, probably nothing in there at all. But if it is asbestos. Let's leave it alone. Beautiful creatures. 
Ooh. Oh, there's a small room in here with look loads and loads of movie posters, including rear rear lit posters like that one's back to front. So you shine the light through the back, and it makes it much more colourful. So there's loads of posters in this room. So not really too much to see down here. I would have thought that this would have been off limits as a fire exit only, so the public wouldn't normally get to see this bit. So this would be way into the auditorium. Hey, here we go. And there's the screen again, or lack of it. You can see a bit of the silver hanging down. Definitely a silvered screen. So that's where we were. And it seems since I've come that somebody's been dismantling the seats in here slowly. So perhaps there is some sort of work taking place. What films have you watched in this cinema? Let me know in the comments below. Did you work for the cinema? Tell us about it. Were you the projectionist here? Tell us all about it. I was a projectionist too. So you can talk technical to me and I will enjoy it. Here are some of the surround speakers off the wall. So this is a multi, multi frequency surround speaker that would have gone, oh there we are, you can see some of them still up there, look. They're all around the edges. And over here, you see? So somebody's pulled one down to have a look. Uh, there's one, there's a couple up, up of us. There we go. So these are the surround speakers and for a building, for a room this big, it takes time for the audio to travel from the front to you. So there's a delay. So all these surround speakers have to be slightly delayed so that it allows the time for the sound at the front to get to you before you get the sound from the edges. Otherwise it would sound like two sounds on top of each other. So they usually put a little bit of delay in the back, um, in the back uh, surround speakers, but uh, as they get closer to the front, they don't put delay in them. So yeah, that's one of those speakers. So there's this. Sounds like fan. You're a fan. Oh my God, what's that noise? Was it just the street? Just the bustle of the street noise. Oh, look, there you go. This was the broken window I could see from outside. Well, how the pigeons are off out. We now have the fire exits. Hello. Hello, little pitch. Hello, are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? He says, I go. I run away. I don't want you near my stuff. Oh, Mr. Pigeon. What are we going to do with Mr. Pigeon? What do we do with Mr. Pigeon? We touch Mr. Pigeon? No. So I don't want to be touched. So you don't touch me. 
Just leave me alone. Right. Okay, so. Fire exit. Something's been blocked up there. And uh, fire exit down. Down the stairs we go. And down the stairs we go. It says private here. I know what that. Whoa. Look at this. Oh my god. You can actually walk out onto the uh, onto the gantry. That's pretty mad, isn't it? So now I'm somewhere where not many people get to go at all. And I'm going to cheekily walk out across the top and film. So here we go. This is what you don't get to see very much. Here we are. Nobody knows we're here. Nobody's looking up. Nobody has a clue. Because we are invisible. Because we are the secret vault. Don't forget. We are the secret vault. <laughs> oh, we only got 2% battery left on this battery. I do have more. There we go. So this is the building. And it, it's got nice Art Deco bits. Yeah. So there we go, look. We also have LEDs. They had LED lighting, look. Here. To give it a bit of accented, uh, accented light onto these windows, which will, probably would have been here. They've all been boarded up now. So... There's only one door back into the building, over here. And look at the, they've even bothered to uh, make nice patterns on the ceiling. And look at this, look at this door. Look at the effort that they've gone to to make that look nice, even though it's something that most people won't see. There we go. And the nice reliefs there, nice reliefs, and then the stuff goes all the way down to the end. So, quite nice. I'm glad it came up here now. That's pretty good. So, oh, turn the iris up. Close the door. Find my light switch. And off we go. So, yeah. We're not quite down to street level yet. There's the old uh, boarded, well, painted up windows. Coming down to the emergency exit, and this is where the lady was earlier on. She said, if you want me to get out of the way, I can. Oh my god, what's this? I can hear power. I can definitely hear power. There's, there's a, look, there's a, there's lights on down here. Lights are on. Can you see? Can you see? I can hear humming. Oh dear. So there is power in this building. Oh, there's a little, little transformer there and there's little rooms here. Let's have a quick look. No smoking. This is the old rooms for film, probably. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't. No, it wasn't. These would have been old batteries. This was the battery backup for the lighting system. The house lights went down, so people think, there we are, battery charging station, you see? So that's what that is. So this uh, buzzy little transformer over there. Yeah. 
So people have been stripping out the wires in this bit again, pulling all the copper out. Unreal. Unreal. Why do they do it? Anyway. So somebody's been trying to pull pull the wire out here as well. But ah the noise is actually coming from this big old substation. Danger, high voltage electricity. And, it, and they've even been trying to get in there, look. Can you believe it? Trying to get through that door. That's not a good idea, really, folks. Is it? I don't think so. So, this is also high voltage electricity in here. And this door is very, very locked. See, Gaumont Cinema. Gaumont Cinema. So before it was an Odeon. Ooh, this has been sealed up. You cannot go up anymore. The stairs has been sealed off. But sometimes in, in theatres, this is probably a theatre years ago, um, you would have had back walkways. So you could come from the front of the house all the way through, through to the back of the stage, you know, without having to encounter the public. So these are little rack runs that you have, quite nice. I wonder if the, uh, the lady is here. So. It's opening. stuff is still there. It is. It is. You could open that. Whoa! <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's me. No, 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 no. It's, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to come out. I'm not going to come out. I was going to say, I'll leave it ajar and you can have a look later then if you want. Okay, I'm going to go out the other way, but yeah. See you in a bit. It's good. It's really, it's really interesting. Yeah, okay. Cheers. homeless lady there. As I said to her, just get in here and keep warm. You don't have to sleep on the streets. A place like this going abandoned. It's crazy. Don't want to make yourself have to go through that crap. Not good. So find a way back now. So this went up here, but I'm just trying to think now, did we manage to get down? The other side or not? Can't remember now. So we haven't been in the front of house yet. So let's work our way through to the main main entrance. So here we go. to the main entrance. Look at all those speakers. 
One, two, three, four, five. Is it one? Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six speakers. So it would have been a bit of a big sound system, this one. A big sound system, nice. That's what we like. Lots of bass. Oh look, it's one of the reels from the projector. It's a projector reel. Yep, not a very big one. Probably do about 30 minutes on that, something 30 to 40 minutes. It's not a very big one. I don't know what the deal was with this really, why they why they closed it down. It's not profitable, possibly. Maybe it cost a lot to run the building. Maybe the building is worth more sold to somebody who wants to develop it into something down here. Whereas they can just put a new multiplex on the outskirts of town in a building that really probably cost very little. Oh here we go, here we go. This is the front of house so yeah they tried to stylize the the ceiling to give you know an effect. Oh what have we got down here? Is this uh, toilets? Toilets, no this is storage for something. Oh there's toilets there. I wonder if these are staff toilets, no? Maybe not. No, maybe this was. Uh, oh yeah. There you go. So the secret vault. So yeah, they storing stuff in here. Cleaning materials, I think. This looks like it was real reels of film boxes for reels of film. Another toilet perhaps. Oh this comes down and around. Oh it's a different uh, it's a different screen. It's a different screen. Oh my god they had a small screen and another screen in here. Wow, so that's the projection room. I didn't know they had more screens. That's pretty uh, pretty awesome. So, smaller screen. And their slanted, slanted uh, fronts that they like to have. But uh, there's the screen. I wonder if it's in a good condition. Let me... Oops. It's not too bad actually. There's quite a bit of the screen is uh, is there, but uh, what's over the top and around the back? Whoa! Hang on a sec. So we've got an old JBL woofer that's been ripped up. But yeah, there's quite a bit of screen there. Quite a bit. So. This is the smaller screen and we have a little walkway that comes through and out so something just went bang
something went bang, but I don't know what it was. So that was one of the smaller screens, so there may be another screen again. Oh, look at the entranceway to this. This is, this is amazing. So these would have been the blanked out windows. And there's nothing down this bit, is there? Or, or is there? Oh, there's a little room, washroom, washroom. Look at the size of the, the walkway. Oh God, God, it goes downstairs as well. Oh my God. Now, I didn't know they had other screens, so let's just see if there's anything else. Somebody's walked a piece of film all around, look. So, this looks like a storage room. Storage room chilled cabinet. Uh, toilets. And this must be a long walkway. Ah, this is where we came in. And this is the projection rooms down there. So I got a funny feeling I only saw projection rooms pointing that way I didn't see one for that cinema screen which is weird so where would that where would that be then where would that be if that was there so that's this screen 2 I can see on the wall so where would the projection rooms be? Perhaps in here, go up some stairs, go up some stairs perhaps. Some manager's office. Wow, look at all this crap. Loads of crap. Health and sa safety. Oh, there's another projection reel. See the size. So, stores. <coughs> this was where they kept uh, supply suites and things like that. So, there you go. Look. Random Smarties, Kit Kats, Milky Bars, Smarty Quality Street, Large Box Munchies. Yeah. So that's where they kept all the stuff. So I believe we've come in this way. The only way we haven't seen now is downstairs. Excuse me. So, quite a big walk from downstairs to upstairs. No uh, lift that to speak of. So, definitely not a friendly place for people that have got uh, wheelchairs. Somebody's been busy. Busy, busy, busy. And oh my god, look at this. There's a lot of water down here, liquids. So, would we have another cinema down here? So, uh, let's have a look. Starting over here, so. Big old, uh, big old front of house, this. Very big. So let's start on this side. We have electrical equipment room. And in this room, CCTV up there. 
and ticket office. Ah, aha, interesting. Odeon tickets which haven't been printed on. Intercom, Pub public address intercom system. So this is where you got your tickets from. And some sort of cashing up place for taking all the mega bucks which they seem to be losing by overcharging people to go and see the cinema. <laughs> Our local cinema in Trowbridge, um, Odeon Cinema, by the way, they've just reduced their prices from something like £11 to £5 to go and see a movie. I think they're actually pricing themselves out to the market and they've realised nobody's coming anymore. And the biggest complaint is it's too expensive. So, in order to save themselves going out of business... They've actually made it cheaper. So here we go. Now, I don't want this door to close because we wouldn't want to get back in. So, yeah. But here we go. Here's the movies. Passengers. Passengers. And La La Land. Yeah. So... There's the other screen over there which has been opened up and uh, never put back. So, there you go. Do -do 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 -do. Let's have a look. You've got the flashy glitzy screen 1, 2. So maybe we are just dealing with two screens at the moment then. We've got a uh, food area over here, serve people for food. One scoop of ice cream, £3.20. Three scoops of ice cream, £5.35! Bastards. Really, isn't it? Isn't it? Ah, bit of a refrigerated kitchen area. And does it come back, comes back out? Yeah, so it walks right round. So, ice cream serving equipment. Ugh. So, Ben and Rip Off. company was sold years ago. They don't look like that on the, uh, the posters. They're all blokes now. They don't look like youngsters like they do on their um, uh, promotional material. Bloody overpriced. Hope they go bust. Fuck them. So, oh here we go. Computer, five disc CD changer for music. So you play your music in the foyer before people come in and some sort of fuse box maybe so there you go Madagascar 2 escape from blah 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 lots of stickers and things Exciting in there. It's very noisy outside that front door. The Great Wall is t shirts or something. Great wall, the great wall, the great wall. T shirts. Whoa. 
man's not hot. What's in here then? Toilet keys. Toilet keys. And stores. Stores. And what comes up around here, I wonder? Because we're well below... Oh, screen four, look. Screen four. So these must have been... Oh, look, screen six. DTS. So, uh, God knows. What the hell? This way to die, it says. Is maybe this is the flooded part of the cinema. Because they did say that uh, there was a cinema down here that was flooded. We've got toilets. God, it's big old toilets. Like, it goes in quite a distance. And a disabled toilet. Okay, so let's take the walk then. Wow, this is open. This, this side door's open, look. Emergency exit. Everything's open here. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. This place is wide open. Screen five. Wow, look. Little baby screen. And again, where's the projection room? Where is it? Where's the bloody projection room? Where is it? How'd you get into it? I can't see how you get in there. It's crazy. So, we shall have to look for that now. There's the, there's the screen or lack of it. It's a big old building, isn't it? It's a fire extinguisher up there. So, this looks a bit mucky, mucky, crappy on the floor. We've got screen six. Wow. Screen six. Now this is completely different again. I'm, I'm getting disorientated. I think this is where we came in, early, the earliest one. Uh, there's a ladder there. No, this can't be because we could walk all the way up to the top. So this is another big old room which I don't know where the I don't know where the projectionist stuff is. Look, it's got its own little uh, place to buy uh, buy stuff. Ice creams on the side. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. So this is screen six. All the seats have been mushed around. Uh, I think that was the projection room that we saw earlier on because it, it came over the, the top. But, uh, hmm. So, I think we've stumbled across this screen without realizing it was different to the other one that we walked through because we're not taking enough notice. Interesting noises. So we need to find the projection rooms. So is this it perhaps? Round here. This looks no this is another screen. Oh my god, this place is crazy. Look, they've got uh, somebody's put a ladder up there. Maybe because people just don't know how to get into the projection room. I'm curious. What's up there? What's up there? I see a little, there's a little walkway. Go. Where's it go? I'm just curious. I mean, how you get in in these in these little projection rooms? Right. Sorry, battery just died. So yeah, there's the uh, 
thing. So how do we get into this screen then? Through the back. So I think, yeah, we went that way, didn't we? So this was this way. So if we come along here, we should at some point be able to, sorry, I'm not pointing in the correct direction. We should at some point be able to find the projection room. Ah, here you go. There it is. Hey, look, they got um, the boxes for the bulbs, the Zen and, Zen and arc lamps. And they're big ones. They're pretty big. I would imagine they'd be like three kilowatt or bigger. Let's see what, what it says they are. Let's see what it says. TLS. Um. <clears throat> right. Oh no, four and a half thousand. Uh, so it's 4,500 watts. So I said two, two K. It was actually four and a half K. There's loads of the boxes for the bulbs, but I bet they're not in there because they're worth thousands. These are worth thousands of pounds and there's none of them in there. And I bet if anybody thought it would be funny to play with one of those, they probably had uh, a, a bit of a shock if they tried breaking one because they explode. <laughs> so I hope they didn't hurt themselves. So this is the old projector housing would have been here. So you'd have had your, your Christie or something, Christie projector on here. And the um, digital equipment here for the playback of the movie would be down here. Yeah, and here's your volume controls and what type of sound system you're using and the masking for wide screens and small screens and tabs on the side and yeah, all that. All that. Anyway, you see, when handling xenon lamps, face masks and gloves and wrist protection must be uh, worn. Okay, um, you must let it cool down for 20 minutes before attempting to replace. Attempting to replace. So, there you go. So we're finding the... Oh, God. Hang on, let me just turn the recording off. Information here for the different screens, the server numbers, right, that's the IP address in the server, and what the screen power was. So screen number one, four and a half kilowatts, screen number two, just two kilowatts, screen three, two kilowatts, four, two kilowatts, five, two kilowatts, screen six, four kilowatts, DHP, that's probably digital, um, four kilowatts on ABC1, 4 kilowatts on ABC2 and ABC3. Now, it's crazy. I mean, um, maybe Odeon ran the ABC as well. Oh, this is one of the this is one of the arc bulbs and somebody has smashed it. They probably had a rude awakening because that's the connector. See the big metal connector and that's the arc. The arc comes off there and the bulb comes out to a big bulb in the middle. But that is one of them. So somebody smashed one up. They're worth thousands of pounds. And somebody just smashed it. And it probably probably spat glass at them. So serves them right. Serves them right. If you're messing around with stuff you don't understand. <clears throat> so which way now? Which way do we come? I'm getting lost. Oh no, we were walking this way, weren't we? We are walking this way. We've got red bucket, blue bucket. It's just a cleaning cupboard. Quite messy. Toilets, bottle, CO2 bottle, right on the floor, and we've got emergency exit. Right, so I think we've found the projection rooms for a, a couple of the screens, but I don't know if we've seen all the screens. So, like this one here, is that is that the room we were just in? Probably, probably. But uh, there we go. So I think I think I've seen pretty much everything that's in here. But uh, we've seen a few screens. So that's the projection room for that one and the next one. So 
So a projector's there, another projector there. So there's two screens. Um, and how far along do you go? Where it becomes other screens again. So I'm just think, thinking to myself. So we've got another screen here. That's that's probably the projection room was there. So is there any more screens? Any more screens? Because old big old um, advertising boards there. So yeah, this way to die. We went down here. So this must be the projection room for. That one, yeah. We haven't been in here. Oh, what's this? Lamp current uh, adjuster do not exceed 30 amps. Zenon lamp power supply. P1X30B IREM. Very small. I can't believe that you'd be able to get power for a Zenon bulb. Uh, of something so small to be honest, but uh, oh Christ, is that heavy? Oh my god, that is heavy. That is so heavy. Oh my god, There's nothing on the back either. Wow, so not to exceed 30 amps. So Hmm, interesting. Never seen one like that before. Uh, so this is uh, this is the equipment room. Again, digital servers. As you can see, you've got your network cables for your digital movies. A lot of people don't realise they download the movies. Yeah. Cinemas don't deliver the movies on hard drives anymore they, they download them overnight and then they are put onto the hard drive of the, um, the server and it only allows them to play it on the days they've paid for so they can uh, in sort of like the headquarters they can turn on and off their ability to play the movie from London you know so oh yep uh, this is the loop sound thing for people who are deaf and these are the uh, the things for putting in the, the 3D 3D vision systems like real 3D to slide them in place in front of the projector so there you go so we have found the uh, the rooms amazing So we might as well work our way work our way back over, see what's on the far side over there. I think we'll pretty much be done then. There's lots of leaflets. Leaflets to do with Odeon. Oh look, they're telling people where the new Odeon's gonna be, look. Your new Odeon Bournemouth opening early 2017. Mmm, with Ponzi seats, so you can pay 50 quid to watch a movie. Yes, why not? Yeah, see they're just looking for ways to make it more expensive, not less exp expensive. You know, this is the thing, they're like, oh, we can put in this new stuff, and then the new seats, and then a premiere, and this, and special, and do da do 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 but it's all just to make the money, you know, more, more money from less people. Nothing really in here. Rogue One, the rebel deal. All this crap that, you know. Oh look, twelve ninety five for some popcorn and a drink. Only, you see, see what I mean? Twelve pounds ninety five for some popcorn and a drink. Yeah, yeah. Odeon, don't tell us <laughs> who's killing cinema. Piracy's killing cinema. 
No. Odeon, it's you are killing cinema. You, 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 and you, and you, you. So they have got some disabled access, but only to the lower floor. So only to the movies in the lower floor. So, side entrance here. Yeah? Side entrance with the box office. There we go. There we go. I think we're pretty much there now. I think we've pretty much covered everything in this cinema. And I'm going to purposely not go to the ABC um, on this visit so that it gives me something to do when I come back with Sam and Jess. Who do want to see this as well so we can all see it fresh. We can all see it for ourselves fresh. Nice and fresh. So we're going to go up now. Oh, no, we're going to go up these big stairs. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. So there we go. Back up the stairs. And have you walked up these stairs to watch a movie? Did you used to come up these stairs? Look what great art they have here. Great artworks. And... I don't know what this stuff is I'm stepping in, but it's certainly slimy here. Oops. Mm. So they've dispensed with big old picture house for brand new, <coughs> <coughs> brand new snazzy one. So that scream one. That's another screen down there then, so screen one, or maybe it's the same screen. You just have to choose which way you walk into it. So you come to the right or the left. Hey, free of charge. <laughs> so I think that's about it. So I'm basically I'm gonna I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut it out here. I think so. Thanks for coming with us on this nice little journey around. Let me just see. Let's turn this down. A nice little journey around the Odeon in Bournemouth. So you might even want to visit it yourself because it's obviously very easy to get into. So thanks for watching and as usual, don't like, don't subscribe, and whatever you do. Don't click that little bell thing that makes you get notified of all my videos because you wouldn't want to do that. It just it sounds like there's people in here. You hear these noises and it sounds like there's people in the building, but no, it's just outside. So thanks very much. Good night.